Step five, interpret the results. The optimal solution is shown here. It indicates that only shorts and jackets should be produced. With the corresponding optimal profit, $54,605. When you look at an optimal solution generated by Evolver, you should look at several things. First, which adjustable cells are zero and which are positive? In this case, shirts, pants, and skirts aren't produced at all. Only shorts and jackets are produced at positive levels. Second, which constraints are met exactly? In this case, all of the cloth is used, and almost all of the labor hours are used. This is important information. It could motivate the company to purchase more of these resources if the price is right. And last, is the solution plausible from a business point of view? In this case, the company might not like the idea of producing only two out of five products. But if it really wants to produce more products, its profit is going to decrease, mainly because of the fixed cost of equipment. There is an important concept here, namely that if you impose more restrictions, such as requiring that more products be produced, the objective can only get worse. It can never get better. The company must weigh these alternatives when making a final decision. Now it's your turn. Examine the optimal solution. You can experiment by changing the values in the blue adjustable cells. Either of two things will surely happen. One, the profit will decrease, or two, the resource availability constraints will be violated. In other words, you can't find a solution with a higher profit without violating at least one constraint. This is exactly what it means for a solution to be optimal.